Uh, here's a no. million dollar question. What is funny? What Everything's makes a funny. crowd, uh, everybody laugh? Everything's funny. Everything's funny. Uh, psychiatrist gags. Hello, walks in. He says, uh, can you help me out? He says, well, which way do you come in? <laughs> so, you know, little quickies like that. Uh, fat people. Siddle Smith just walked a water bend, fucking late Windermere. He had a walk in the pub, he says, eight brandies, please. You're not the eight brandies back. He said, I shouldn't be drinking like this with what I've got. She said, what have you got? He says, fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> if you like a smoke, have a smoke. If you like a drink, have a drink. If you like chips, have chips. If you like bread, have bread. Take no fucking notes, these specialists. They'll have you in bed for seven o'clock. <laughs> Drink and drive if you want. There's nothing worse than having a smash if you're fucking still cold so. <laughs> the copper says, all the back ends hanging off. He says, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> when the police pull you up, you know, they must caution you. Remember that? They've got to caution you. They say to you, you're not obliged to say anything, but anything you do say will be taken down and used in evidence. Your next sentence must be... Please don't hit me again, officer. Well, this story, I've seen some ugly bastards in club, but you top the fucking bill, you. Oh, Jesus. If you get a fucking ear tonight, there's a chance for all of us, I'll tell you that. Dear me. Anyway, sat with a coloured gentleman there. How are you, my old friend? Where have I seen you from? Where are you from, sir? Where? Norfolk. Which side of the fucking deli is that on? Norford? Well, it's nice that he's got that far, have they? Norford. In this bed and swinging through the fucking trees, having a night out with nice people. Instead of sat in, sat in the fucking tent watching the sheep die and all that fucking bother. Oh, them poor people. I don't know. I mean, all them Ethiopians needed, all them Ethiopians needed was Lenny Henry and his fucking big fat wife. Going over there, showing her what it looks like to eat six fucking meals a day. <laughs> I bet when they looked at him, they thought it was fucking Gulliver. <laughs> oh, dear me. Quasimodo's running down the road, and all these kids are after him. He said, I haven't got your fucking ball. Cosimodo walks in this pub, he says, Scotch whiskey, please. He says, Bell's all right. He says, mind your own fucking business. <laughs> Bella dashed in the house, he says, come on, love, pack your bags, I won the pools. Come on, he says, pack your bags, I won the pools. She wants you to pack some at light, some at heavy, where are we going? He says, just pack them and fuck off. <laughs> Hey, hey, enjoy yourself, son. What a lovely atmosphere in here tonight, eh? Hey? When white people get together, we're going to enjoy ourselves, can't we? <laughs> I think we'll have a lynch in about half twelve with that cunt over there. <laughs> I've got a rope in the car, don't worry about that. Oh, <laughs> always carry a spare rope. <laughs> this time last year, it was pissing down with rain. We didn't have a summer like we've just had. He was a bastard this time last year. Terrible. Strikes all over the country. Sid Vicious died. I couldn't fucking sleep when I about that. <laughs> I tossed and turned all night when Sid Vicious died. The dirty, scruffy bastard. <laughs> they couldn't bury him. The dustbin men were on strike at the time. <laughs> there was an Irish punk rocker took a pin out of his nose. His head blew off. Johnny Rotten's just teamed up with Ronnie Barkin. In future, it's going to be good night from me and fuck off from me. <laughs> That's how the world's gone now. Unbelievable. That's me shaking hands with the Queen backstage on the Palladium. Welcome up before me, you know. He was with her, the Duke of Kent. What a gormless bastard he is. <laughs> oh, Mr. Manning, laugh my bollocks off tonight. You know. <laughs> Unbelievable. Try again. Anyway, life's wonderful. Life is wonderful. That's what it's all about. 
enjoy yourself. Two girls on the cash out at the supermarket. One says, you can always tell the money fellas from the single fellas. How do you do that? He said, what's this? A fella come up. He said, one mushroom, one egg, one tomato, one slice of bacon, and one tin of beans. She said, you're a single fella, you aren't you? He said, how do you know that? She said, you're a right ugly cunt. <laughs> The ticket tar outside Old Trafford, and the fellow went up. He said, "How much are the tickets?" He says, uh, "100 quid a piece." 100 pound, he said. And get a woman for that? He said, "I know, but you won't get 45 minutes each way in a band at half time." <laughs> but Yorkshire couple on holidays in Spain. First day there, she says, "George, we forgot the best door." He says, I wish, she says, aye. She said, but I think that couple across the road, I think they're English, she said. Knock and see if they've any missed, no. And he went over. The fellow comes to the door, he says, uh, asked any miss, no. He said, fuck off, you Spanish cunt. <laughs> Hurry up, your fucking head's shining in my eyes here. I can move in spot like that. If you want to get that weight off your fat twat, I'm telling you, it's fucking handy. I used to be fat like that, fucking hell. It's only willpower, if I can do it, anybody fucking can. A bit of willpower. Up in the morning, punch the bag about, then she gets up, makes a cup of tea. Well, I give in this bird once, she said, you've only got a small organ, haven't you? She said, yes, but it's never played in a cathedral before. <laughs> You Japanese never fucking laugh, do you? Hey, you never laugh. We've not forgot Pearl Harbor, pal. Don't you fucking worry about that. What a shit house trick that was. Sat there, he can't wait to be home, make all the Datsun. You look a nice young fella. Go and piss on that job. Bastards. No fucking time for a me. There was a, a plane crashed in Madrid about six months ago. Two hundred Japanese on that plane broke my fucking heart. Six empty seats, it was. <laughs> so she... Now, stars on Sunday when I come back in the second half. JC was walking through Jerusalem and all these women were throwing stones at this prostitute and half bricks and slates. And he said, turn it in. Turn it in! He was a nasty bastard when he was the piss of the dinner time, you know. <laughs> Used to go out changing water into wine. Everybody got pissed out of the mind. <laughs> Turn in, he said. Any woman here without sin, let her cast the first stone. Ooh, and a bleeding big rock come over. <laughs> Hit this prostitute around the back of the head. He turned around and he said, You know, Mother, sometimes you fucking piss me off. <laughs> Ooh, got a stripper on tonight to the splits over a Guinness bottle. You've never seen nothing like it in your life. <laughs> Cost a fucking fortune. Lost 14 crates of Guinness last night. <laughs> I shook her up about half ten. It was frothy, man. Frothy, frothy. Man. Where are you from, son? <laughs> Must be Irish. You don't fucking know. Where are you from, son? Where are you from? Harper Lane, here in Manchester. Are you a city supporter? Oh, we're having a rough time, aren't we, just at present? But never mind, son. He'll come again. They got the crowd to autograph the fucking ball the other night. <laughs> oh, it's fucking awful down there, you know. We can't keep managers. We auctioned two balls here the other night. One was Sam Yola City players, the other Sam Yola City managers. And the one who won the play of the ball said, the goalkeeper's not signed it. I said, oh, no, but he got his fucking fingers to it. Big gang of fellas running down the road. The fella said, what's up? He says, a lion escaped. Which way did it go? He said, you don't think we're fucking chasing it, do you? <laughs> you know why seagulls have wings? To beat the fucking gypsies to the tip. You're learning all the time. You're learning all the time. 